body movements and joints. In this module, you will learn about body movements and joints. You do different exercises in your yoga classes at school. For doing these exercises, you do different types of movements. For example, moving your arms and legs, forward bending, shoulder rotation and many more. You can do these movements easily because your body is flexible. Such flexibility in our body is due to the presence of joints. Do you know what a joint is? Well, a joint is actually a place where two bones are joined together. Press your hand against your knee, shoulder or your fingers. You can feel your joints there. Not all joints allow movements. On the basis of whether the joint helps in the movement or not, these joints can be categorized into two types, immovable and movable. The immovable joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. These are also called fixed joints. Such joints are found in the skull. Except the joints present in the skull, all other joints found in the body are movable. Movable joints are the joints that help in the movement of the body parts. Movable joints are further of four different types. They are hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Let us learn about these joints one by one. Let us first learn about the hinge joint. A hinge joint is very similar to a door hinge. You can see that the door hinge allows the opening and closing of the door in two directions. Similarly, a hinge joint in the body also allows the movement in two directions that is forward and backward or upward and downward. The elbow and knee joints are the two examples of the hinge joint. Let us now learn about the ball and socket joint. In the ball and socket joint, the end of one bone acts like a ball. This bone fits into another bone which acts as a socket. Hence, the joint is called the ball and socket joint. This arrangement allows easy movement of the body parts in all the directions. The hip joint and shoulder joint are the two examples of the ball and socket joint. The next type of joint is the pivot joint. In this type of joint, one of the bones acts like a cylinder and fits into the end of the other bone, which is like a ring. Hence, the first bone rotates inside the ring and allows easy movement of the body part in different directions. An example of a pivot joint is the neck joint. The pivot joint allows the movement of neck sideways, upward and downward. It even allows the rotation of the neck. The last type of joint is the gliding joint. This type of joint allows the bones to glide over each other and hence allows slight movement of the body parts. In this type of joint, the joint bones are flat and so they slide back and forth and side to side. Ankle joint and wrist joint are some examples of the gliding joint. Now, there is a special tissue that holds the two bones of a joint in position. This is called ligament. There is another soft tissue that covers a joint from outside. This is called cartilage. The bones are not visible from outside. So, in case of an injury, doctors use X-rays to check any damage of our bones. X-rays are the special rays that help to create the image of bones using radiations. Let's recap. A joint is a place where two bones are joined together. Joints can be categorized as movable and immovable joints. The immovable joints or the fixed joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. Movable joints are the joints that help in the movement of the body parts. Hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint are the four types of movable joints.